Welcome back one and all to Red Dead Redemption 2. I am the Dark Seraph. Last time we tracked down some debtors and Arthur, being a nice person, absolved the debt. And I can guarantee Mr. Leopold Strauss is not going to be too happy about that. But if he's got a problem with it, I can pack, pack him up with a nice mouser pistol. Yep. But it's time to fess up. So we're going to make our way back to camp to inform Mr. Leopold Strauss that we ain't getting any money from those debts. Because I absolved the debt on both of them because they were in a pretty rough spot and one of them actually had no means of paying in any way whatsoever. See, me, Herr Morgan, you can be a good person if you really set your mind to it. None of that matters right now. We need to get to Strauss. And oh yeah, uh, Molly O'Shea got shot to death because she was the rat on the bank on the bank job. Yeah, uh, how about you fuck off? This is for free country. Oh, I'm sorry, I thought this was my country. Get out of my country, you skags! This is America! Well, you died. Fuck you! Bunch of fucking degenerates. Here, let's give you two more for good measure. Fuck you! They're probably all on drugs. It's all right, girl. Everything will be fine. Just let me finish looting the degenerates. They're probably inbred, too, now that I think about it. Some sage. They have a lot of herbs, I'm realizing. So, yeah, they probably are drug addicts. But none of that matters, because they're dead, and I'm alive. Really, Morgan? I know you got tuberculosis, but come on, man. The buzzards will be picking you all clean. Didn't even have much money on you. Okay, my girl. Idiot. It's okay, girl. It's okay. The bad people are dead and burning in hell. Some random encounters just to keep things interesting. I quite like that. Who are you? It's Arthur. Good to see you back, Arthur. It's good to know you're still with me, at least. Of course, Arthur. I guess we see how all this plays out. Mm-hmm. It's not going to play out well, I can assure you that. I should probably get some sleep before going out on any more missions. How did you get on, Mr. Morgan? Just standing. Hmm. Just... Get up. What? Get up! What? What is wrong? Nothing's wrong. Nothing at all. What are you doing? Something I should have done a long time ago. Get your bag. Is this it? I don't understand. I ain't gonna kill you. Though I probably should. You disgust me. And you shame us. If we could be shamed any more than we already are, that should do. 
go. I don't understand you. What are you doing? Go and get a job. You know, they, they say the sick delude themselves. I was your friend. You and me, we ain't decent. But those folk, they was. Now here, take that. Take that and get lost. I'm leaving. Damn. How much did that cost me? Fifty dollar. Oh wow, that put me way up there. As a good person. Oh yeah, Mrs. Downs. Let's go see what that's about. I just got sent Strauss packing. Sorry, Shire, this ain't a job for you. Uh, okay, thank you, computer, for get to giving me notification. That's not what's important right now. Let's donate my pelts to Pearson. He, that was my phone, wherever that is. Right there in front of me. Get what's coming. I don't care. Thank you, Arthur. You're welcome, Pearson. My crafting at the moment, Mr. Morgan. Thank you, Mr. Pearson. Oh, hi, Arthur. Like I said, I should probably go get some damn sleep. That's going to be Arthur's there. Yeah. I'm at it. Let's work on my clothing. Well, I need my beauty sleep. I don't really have the neckerchief eclipse with the bandolier. Till noon, sure. Get some sleep, Morgan. You need it. Tuberculosis, man. That shit's nasty. It'll kill you.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Horse isn't allowed in camp. Come, Blucher, now. We must ride off into town and catch up with Mrs. Downs. Hey, I'm trying. Yeah. Come on, let's get a move on. Let's get a move on. Okay, here we go. Hey, who are you? Oh my god. I'm kind of impressed you survived two slugs like that. Where are you going, Murphy? I'm sorry, what was that? Oh, you son of a bitch, you are still alive. Well, not anymore, I just blew your kneecap out. You bastards are making me run through all my slugs. Leave me the fuck alone. Oh, those are my shells. Regardless, leave me the fuck alone. Jesus Christ, these Murphy Broods are something else. Not overly fond of them, I must say, but whatever, they're very fun to kill. I do enjoy killing them. What can I say? I'm a guy who likes guns, and I'm a guy who likes killing degenerates in this game. <laughs> and I get to kill degenerates. Peace. Whoa. With guns. And knives. And dynamite. And fire bottles, and lots of nasty stuff. It's good fun, I like this game. Why, hello, kind sir. Hey there, mister. Just admiring your horse there. Thanks. Anyway, just passing the time of day. I'll see you. Have a good one, man. See? Friendly people. It's always nice to see friendly people in this world, because so many of them are fucking assholes. <clears throat> yeah, I'm getting. Same to you. Once in a while. <laughs> hey, you want company, boys? 
I haven't given you no trouble. There she is. This is down. Go away. Just go away. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, but I... Well... Well, you're sorry. Yeah, I heard you. Who but, is she? What happened? I mean, well, I, I, this country is man unleashed. That's the thing, and it ain't my fault any more than it's anyone else. Man unleashed? Then unleash goodness, not just hell's feeble brothers, sir. But how? I mean, all I know how to do is fight. I guess I was set free to fight. Where's your son, Mrs. Down? Oh, where you think? Down the mine until he gets sick. Which won't be long, given how hard they work him. See, foremen don't like him, so he gets the worst of it. Maybe I could go... Well, maybe you could just leave us all alone. Maybe. Maybe you could just go fight some other battle. Go to the mine. Get moving, will you? Yeah, let me get my horse out of your way. What's that about? What's their history, I wonder? I ran into her back in... Saint Denis. A place I'm very surprised I don't have a bounty in. Shut up. Oh, oh, all right. oh. Who's this, your daddy? My daddy died. And this man, he killed him. What are you doing here? Leave the boy alone. Why'd you kill his daddy? You after his mama? <laughs> Stop bullying the boy. Get out of my business, mister. Leave the boy alone. Or what? <laughs> or I'll kill you too. You couldn't kill no one. Look at you, all ragged and sick and weak. Clear off, you goddamn hermit. Clear off! You and the horse son here. Sick and ragged, am I? Who's next? Let the boy go. Let him go! Come with me. Shame on you. He's just a goddamn boy! Let's get you out of here. They're gonna kill me. Now I got no job and they're gonna kill me. I've got some money. You and your mama can go someplace nice. Well, why are you doing this? I don't know. Listen, take this. All of it. Try and talk to your mama and get out of here. Now run. I'll try. Good boy. I don't want to see you here again. That was certainly interesting. Okay, what else can I do? Yeah, she's got something for me. The guy up here's thing disappeared, but let's go north anyway. I 
Whoa, what? Yeah, I'm leaving, bucko. Move out of the damn way. Jesus Christ. I get a guard's just doing his damn job, but... You clearly see that I am leaving. Get the fuck out of the way so I can leave. Let's see what this stranger up in the north here has for me. Whoa, whoa. Someone's little homestead there. Looks like a nice place. Maybe I'll go back and rob the place blind. Whoa, watch out, girl. Watch out. Get out of the damn way. Cougar? Yeah. I already know it's going to be a ruined pelt. I'm not even going to bother. Okay, ma'am, I don't mean you no harm. <laughs> well, it makes no difference now. If, if an outlaw or a wild animal doesn't get me starvation, well... <laughs> we came out here from the city in search of a different life. Something true, something real. All this squandering and indulgence, we wanted to strip it away, to find something authentic. <laughs> There's authentically crazy people here. What a pair of fools. Is there a train station or a town I can take you to? No, I can't give up now. He wouldn't want that. I, I can't have it. I'm going to do this for you, Cal. Well, I'll, um, I'll leave you to it. <laughs> Is there anything left for you to eat? Nothing. No, we didn't know the first thing about hunting. We couldn't even catch a darn mouse. If you I need have any food. poisonous berries, though, I'm a natural at finding those. Oh, God, now I feel horrible. Well, you ain't gonna last much longer out here if you don't know how to hunt. Come on. I'll show you. I get to go hunting with her. All right. But you better not try any funny business. You know, I may be weak, but I still know how to stand up for myself. Oh, I don't doubt it. Come on.
Tell me, you ever skin an animal before? No, but then again, I haven't caught much of anything either. Well, you'll need to know how to do both if you're gonna survive out here. I am all too aware. So where should we head for? Uh, let's try in the trees down there, near the river. What happened to your husband, if you don't mind me asking? A bear got him. It was horrifying. He survived, but only for a couple of days. I, I buried him a week ago. Uh, I'm sorry. I figured she would get on the horse. But it's not far to the hunting area. Dream more than mine. I'd have hopped the next train back to Chicago if he'd said the word. But now, I, I don't know, it's hard to explain. I have to do this. I understand. Yes, this is a good spot. What are we looking for? Well, I think we we'll start with something small, don't you? I kill it, you skin it. Sound fair? Skin it, but. I, I don't even have a knife with me. Well, I do. We'll need one. Now, take a look around for any movement. I, I don't see anything. Shh. Just keep your eyes peeled. I see a red plant. That's probably something good. Ginseng. Alaskan ginseng. That is a natural stimulant. What is this, a cattail? Some kind of bush knoll. There, look, rabbit. Okay. Mind still watch me. Oh no, it's popping up. Just hold the legs tight and pull the skin away quickly. Should come right off. You can do it. Oh my! <laughs> it worked. That is all there is to it. You did good. I think I've seen enough blood for one day. <laughs> Do you mind if we head back now? Sure. I'll walk you back. You did good. Now... I keep you fed for a few days. Oh, yes. At least. Thank you. It's just in case that bear decides to show up again. It really ain't such a bad spot. You got a good water source. It's remote, but... You can survive here all right. I have no doubt that... One can survive here. Whether Charlotte Balfour can is a different matter entirely. You've probably lived your whole life in the outdoors. Oh, a lot of it, that's for sure. I barely yeah. left the city before coming here. Cal spent his summers growing up at his grandparents' lodge in Maine, but I get the impression they did more punting than hunting. Right. <laughs> well, to each their own, I suppose. 
I'd be dead now. You got a rifle? Yes. Well, my my husband's. I suggest you learn how to use it. Now, come on, let's get you home. Since we got here, it feels like every step forward has come with a hundred steps back. People always talk about the simplicity of country life, but there's nothing simple about any of this. Well, uh, I guess we only know what we know. Oh, please. I'm sure it wouldn't take you too long to adjust to a life of privilege and indolence in the big city. I don't know about that. It sounds off. Oh, it is. A truly empty and boring existence. But an undeniably oh. easy one. I still can't believe he's gone. Uh, hold on one second. Okay, I'm back. My dog really hates possum. She hates them, despises them. She sees one, it must die. She really, really hates possum. <clears throat> Man, they're mostly harmless, but she still fucking hates them. You're quite welcome, ma'am. anyone's done anything nice for us for me since we got here nature provides but she sure don't always make it easy that she doesn't I'd invite you in but I'm dead on my feet if you'll forgive the pun <laughs> please do call again sometime though a good rest and hopefully I'll be a new woman you take care man You're a good man, Arthur Morgan. You're a good man. Even if you don't believe it. Well, I'm going to end this one here. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Red Dead Redemption 2 as I... You know what? Let's do a little hunting next episode before our main mission. But, that's all I got time for. I am the Dark Seraph, signing off.